yeah, boyfriend material. This video is the love relationship video for day five. Analyze the Ozo, Dora, and Nengi triangle, trapezium, whatever. And then we'll touch a bit on Kid Wire and Erica. Yeah, and then a bit of Erica gist. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking this video. So let's start with the Ozo, Dora, and Nengi thing. So obviously this is Ozo, this is Dora, and this is Nengi. So Ozo and Dora are friends. They are like really good friends in the house, very cool friends. And then Nengi is a pretty girl who is kind of Ozo's spec in the house. She's very calm, beauty queen, blah, blah, blah. Let me explain things from Dora's point of view. First and foremost, Dora's problem with her friendship with Ozo is the fact that people cannot even talk to her. She gave this in an example when she said the first night when Ozo stayed in her bed or something, I think he wanted to sleep somewhere. I don't even know why he spent the night in her bed, but it was just platonic. Prince had told her the next day that, oh, I had come to chill with you, but I saw Ozo was dead. So she was just like, you're kind of like enveloping me from talking to other people, making other relationships in the house. So that was her first argument. Nobody talks to me because you're literally always in my business. That thing that kind of annoyed her from what I heard that she said is that they're talking together and then he's mentioning my spec is this, that his spec is Nengi. She, how, how I got that was when she said, imagine me every day, I'm saying Prince, Prince, Prince. How would you feel? Put yourself in my shoes. But also, you know how these guys, they just don't know how to think well and put themselves in someone's shoes. They know how you guys. So also was just explaining that, you know, I cherish your friendship. You know, he was just explaining some other thing. But basically, that's Dora's problem. Yes, Prince, that. What would you do? Things going to change like the way me and you. And another thing is that, for her to have made that statement about me talking prince, 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 it kind of means that she likes Ozo-ish. No, it's a friendship. He's not defining it. At the same time, he's stopping her from talking to other people. And then he's still now calling another girl's name. Because okay, her, if it was just normal friendship, she shouldn't have a problem saying prince, prince, prince. Do you guys get it? So she actually likes Ozo to an extent. But he's not defining it. And then he's still stopping her from chilling with other people and getting to know other people and maybe exploring her crushes and stuff. From everything I can just see that Ozo wants to eat his cake and have it. Basically like he likes the friendship with the girl and he doesn't want to give her space to do anything but he's still comfortable telling her nonsense, crush crush, whatever. Meanwhile, well it would have been cool if she, if she was at the friendship level as well. But you're spending so much time with someone, obviously please get fond of you. Do you get? Now I had the conversation with Eric. Eric was just like the girl like you, now why should they do like this? I don't say the girl like you, now why should they do like that? He was not saying you know, that uh, he values what he really values the friendship. That he even explained to Dora that Nengi, the only thing he likes about her is physically she's his spec. But still, it's not easy when you know you're even like it's just not easy for the girl. Like, for, even if you're forming physically, she's now liking you and you don't even give her space every day. Yeah, if okay, he now cracks one very useless joke. That joke very annoyed Dora a lot. He came to the help the room one time. I was now like, ah, that people that has changed the HOH room. I think they removed Watoni and put him or something. So he's supposed to go to the HOH room. So he shot did 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 and then so the next day he was just gisting about the prank that he played. And Dora did not find it funny. And I said, even this one was really angry. That's Dora. I was really angry that I was leaving. I saw her face. So Dora was now like, the way you're doing this thing, you were supposed to be friends. It's not right because tomorrow now, if you start dating this Nengi, the girl will probably not like me. Because you're doing it as if, like, we're fine, we're friends, but at the same time, I'm supposed to be feeling bad that you're going to sleep in a room. Do you get like, also, you're just messing things up for the girl. I totally understand where the is coming from because she's trying to protect herself. At the same time, she's in a game. She knows she's in a game, but she just wants to now start causing unnecessary trouble for someone that's not even claiming her, like, as boo. You're now fighting, you now make her a potential threat to a girl that's probably, and Nengi likes also. She likes his company. Okay, but he just really prefers Dora's company but likes Nengi's body. <sighs> the last last uh, final conclusion when he was talking to Eric, he said he would not trade his friendship with Dora for any relationship in the house because that is by a long yard the best relationship he, he has in the house. Why a country mile? Yeah, he's like by far. And then he has told her. So Kidwaya and Erica guys, uh -uh, they've been chilling, laughing. So you saw in D4, how they were just chilling, laughing, cracking jokes. You know, she, she wasn't saying, there was one time they were saying something and she was like, if we were outside now, I'll just text you. I'm saying, I think you're like gossiping about someone. And then he was like, I'll be, I'll be. So I shall really vibing and everything. 
after all the meat sharing ah he was eating <laughs> he was eating me like guys for someone to give you meat their last meat is love now anyway he was eating me she had now gave it to her and then she couldn't i think meat was too hard and so they just had in this work and work thing with the meat and dragging it it was just kids and two of them were always just like chilling smiling laughing so at some point later in the day, um, Erica started feeling really bad, she was feeling lonely. You know how you're just feeling alone even when you're with, like even when you're in a relationship, sometimes you feel alone. So I don't know why she was feeling bad, I don't know where it was coming from, but I guess it was thoughts. So Kid Waya now came to her and asked her what's wrong, and she was crying. And then she was like, there were two people she was talking to before they came into the house. Maybe they met after the audition or whatever, they already were coming. Only first come to the house and they don't even talk to her again. She was like, well, you know how you're just not understanding where you are in school's life? Like, it's not like we're dating or anything, but we're supposed to be friends. And how you just come and everybody not be acting brand new? So I can imagine that shock and how it can hit you randomly. You know, so Kidwaya just said talking that she should not worry. That's the, the, that this house is not for the money, he's not here for the money. Obviously, kid, why are you like your father is a billionaire? Obviously, you're not here for the money. It's very understandable that some people actually are actually there, like Katrina is there for fame. Lucy said she doesn't, she's just grateful they brought her to the house. Kid, why are you obviously it's very understandable when they say he's not there for the money. Just that popularity that can push your brand or push anything. Like when you come out and talk, now everybody knows who is selling whatever it is, you know. So he's not telling her that he is so big on friendships, that he just wants someone that when he comes out of the house, he can call her, what are you doing today, you know, let's hang out, people he can rely on. And then guys, there was one time during one of these days that um, Bright O told Tochi that him and Erica had were talking, but and when, he came to the, when they came to the house, everything changed. You know that Bright O doesn't talk too much, he doesn't do too much, I guess he just didn't want to pursue that, he just didn't want to form any relationship. I don't think he's even interested in doing any of our relationship thing right now, that's probably why he just left the matter. So it's either, I so Bright O is definitely one of the people she was crying about. The second person, I'm not sure, but I, the conversation between Eric and his bae, um, Lilo, just sounded like... Erica was in the gist somehow. I don't know if it's something within the house because I heard Erica's name in their conversation, but even someone she was um, trying to say, I'll put a clip now. I don't know what's wrong with um, Erica. So I don't know if it's something that happened while they were in the house or outside the house. So yeah, I just don't know who the second person is, but I think they both are guys because if it was a girl, obviously it would be such a biggie. I really don't know, but she felt really down and okay, I really um, like lifted her up. I really hope those people grow. I really hope she just calms down and just sees. Anyway, this thing we call, we can't start hoping for too much. But well, Kid Waya is wouldn't make it bad because he even even the way he talks, the way he's calm, like he actually looks like a refined human being. Then you know he's financially on point, so why not? That's so guys. That's basically it for the relationships. Eric and his boo. Obviously, as, as I told you in the first video, they were already just about relationships. They had a near kiss moment yesterday. And all is well that continues well so guys thank you so much for watching this please leave a thumb up button and subscribe with the bell if you haven't yet i'll see you in the next video bye bye was when you first came in no no wait, wait. do you actually understand how mad the dress was i'm not even trying to blow your head off well, do you know how sexy your dress was really on how to live your life how to live your life don't you know that life is full of surprises